Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is some tips on how to rock a bold lip. Seems like lately every company is coming out with all these crazy colors of lips. If you can think it, you can find it in a lip color. You, you got all your bright colors, hot pinks, neon pinks, coral pinks. You can find purples, lilacs. You can even find like greens and purples and blues. Like what? You can find all these glittery colors. You can find matte colors and shimmer colors and all this. So lip colors have really been a big thing lately. And I feel like it is just fun to rock a cool color. So to right now I have on this red. This is American Doll from Anastasia. It's the perfect red. I love it so much. But I'm going to show you in this video some tips that I like to do for when you're doing a bold lip. So if you've ever thought, wow, that lip color looks great on them. I wish I could pull that off. You can, you just gotta know how, and I'm gonna tell you how. You just gotta get down the technique and the confidence. So it's not hard, it's really easy if you just keep in mind the couple of things that I have for you guys, and you gotta be confident. Everybody's beautiful in their own way, and if you wanna rock a bold lip, you can. If you wanna do, you know, a more classic look like this red, go for it. If you want to do a bright blue, go for it. Like makeup is whatever you want it to be. You expressing yourself in whatever way you want to. You can do whatever you want. This is just one way to have fun with color other than eyeshadow. And it's just been a really big trend lately. So if you want to know how to rock a bold lip, just keep watching. So the first thing you want to do when wearing a bold color lipstick is make sure your lips are moisturized. Because if you have a lot of cracks and wrinkles and they're really dry it's just going to show all the little fine lines and wrinkles and it's not going to look good at all you can use a lip scrub those are really great for getting all the dead skin and dry patches off uh, you could use like chapstick or lip gloss i would just use it earlier in the day not right before you're going to apply liquid lipstick sometimes it can mess with the formula and make it not dry down right and just kind of wear off faster so just keep that in mind so you just want to make sure your lips are nice and moisturized um, also with makeup that you're wearing a lot of times people think oh if i'm doing a really bright lip i don't need to i don't want to do like anything else and just leave the rest of the face blank not really like if you're doing a really bright lip you don't want to leave the rest of the face blank because it's just gonna not look balanced you want to make sure you have you know bronzer or blush or whatever you're used to wearing you still want all of that and maybe a little bit more than normal but you do want to use more neutral colors or like if you're doing a warm toned lip you can do a little more warm if you're doing cool tone make sure you're doing cool toned just make sure you're matching the color to your lip color to what you're wearing on the rest of your face you don't want to have like a bright pink cheek and then like a bright red lip like it's just kind of clash and look funny so if you make sure you're matching everything and not doing two crazy different tones or anything that's going to help and you also want to have like your brows on you want to have highlight like everything else should be pretty much normal in your what you're normally doing. What I do though is I do a lot less eyeshadow. I feel like if I do a lot of eyeshadow, a big bold smoky eye and a bright lip, I feel like that can be too much. Not all the time, but if you're just trying to do like an everyday kind of look, like you're not going to like an event or a fancy anything, like you're just going to hang out with friends or something, I feel like maybe doing more neutral light eyes so today I just have on two eyeshadows. I just did some of the bronzer that I'm wearing in the crease and then just kind of a lighter shimmery shade all over the lid and that's it. I didn't do, you know, what I normally do is like just keep going in the crease and the outer corner and just add more depth and get a lot more color in there or do, you know, even more shimmer on the inner lid. I just, you just wanna skip that because if your eyes are a little more light then you can bring attention to the lips and keep the lips the focus, but we're still not missing anything or looking like, you know, half our face is undone. I don't really like the look of like a big, bright, bold lip and then no other makeup. It just 
kind of looks strange to me and unbalanced. That's what I like to do. I do have on lashes today. You don't have to wear lashes. I just feel like filming for a camera, it kind of washes out my natural lashes. So doing um, false ones just kind of adds and brightens up my eyes a little bit or opens up my eyes a little bit. So that's why I like to wear lashes. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can start on the lips. So now that we're zoomed in, I'm going to, I'm gonna use this bright pink Stila liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Bella, very bright. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you have a lip liner. It's gonna help you shape your lip the way you want it, get the edge really nice and clean. Also helps keep the lipstick from running. Um, also, I like to use liquid lipsticks for bright colors. I feel like they stay on better. I don't know how people do it with a regular lipstick, like a bright red or something, because I feel like it's just gonna smudge everywhere and get on my teeth and get on my clothes. Like, I don't know how people do that, but I know people, some people prefer a tube of lipstick. I prefer liquid lipstick, so that's what I'm gonna use today. Um, but it's up to you. I do like regular lipsticks for nude colors though. That's my favorite for that. So for this bright pink, I'm gonna use this uh, bright pink eyeliner, or lip liner, sorry. This one's Nabby, maybe, I don't know. I got a huge pack of lip liners on Amazon. It's not focusing. And this was one of them. It was just a really inexpensive pack just so I could have all the colors. And they, they work fine, they're not the best. For doing a bright, bold lip, I feel like it's best to really take your time and make sure it's really precise and a clean line. If you're doing a bright, bold lip and it's just kind of messy, it's not on there great, it's, you know, your lip line is, your lips are uneven because you didn't, you know, try to even them out. I feel like that doesn't look the best. So I'm just gonna start lining. I can't really talk when I do this, so. I kind of stay on the, my actual lip line a tiny bit overlined on the corners and then I do come down a little bit in the middle and especially on my top lip I overline mainly the cupid's bow area but not really on the sides. So that's the bottom lip. And I like to also kind of steady my hand on my chin with my pinky. It really helps to get a clean straight line without your hand shaking everywhere. If you just set your pinky right here and just kind of rest your hand. And you can see the difference of the overlined top lip versus my natural. And then just try your best to get them even. I think nobody has perfect even lips, so it's, it's very common, very normal, and just takes a little time to figure out, you know, where you need to add or make things bigger or, you know, everything like that. And mine, I don't have the smoothest skin, especially on this side, so it's very difficult for me to get a nice, straight, clean line. 
So I think that's pretty good. Then what I like to do with the lip liner again is just kind of take it on the outer sides and just fill in a little bit. So that if your lipstick wears a little bit in the middle, it doesn't give you that like harsh, just outline look. Um, I think that happens more with just regular tube lipstick, but I just like to do it anyways. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot pink liquid lipstick and you can go in with the applicator. I usually do. If you're wanting a really precise application, I would suggest using a little lip brush. Uh, this one I don't think is a lip brush, but it's just a little tiny brush. It's gonna help you get the product right where you need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That is bright. I've had this for a long time. I don't think I've ever worn it because this is brighter than I thought it was. It's like neon. And then I like to make sure you get in the very corners of your lips because sometimes if you're not really paying attention, you can skip that. And then there's like little patches where there's no lipstick. And then just really make sure you go in and go around the edges and just make sure it's a really sharp, clean line. Then if you mess up at all or you get any, like I have right on the corner there, you can take another small brush. So I'm just taking this little angled flat brush and a little bit of concealer. And I put it just a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna dip into it and make sure you're barely getting any. And also make sure this concealer matches your face and it's not a lighter shade that you've used under your eye. Make sure it's matching where you're covering up. So then I'm just going to go and clean up that edge. And then anywhere else that there's any little jagged parts or parts that got out of the line, you can just clean that up as well. And so that is how I apply my liquid lipstick. So you can see I'm wearing a bright pink, um, but because my the rest of my makeup is definitely on, I'm not wearing, you know, light makeup by any means, but it just, the lips are the focus, that's what we want, but you want everything else to kind of blend and just look cohesive and put together. So I really like this color actually. I don't know, I haven't worn it before, but um, it's just kind of a bold pink. Um, another thing with bold lips is if you're not comfortable, which I still am, like I feel like kind of weird if I'm wearing bold lips, mainly because I don't want it to wear off and I don't want it to come off on 
what I'm eating or my drinks or on other people. If I'm like hugging someone, it always is just something I'm just self-conscious about when I have bold lips. One thing you can do is to wear it at home when you're not going anywhere. If you're not comfortable with it, if you put it on, you're like, this is weird and you just take it off. Just put it on at, when you're just at home by yourself and just kind of get used to it. Maybe do that several times until you're comfortable with it. Then you can actually put it on and feel confident that it doesn't look weird. It doesn't look crazy. Like it, it is a different look if you're not used to it to have your lips just this bright, bold color. That's one thing I suggest and I do that all the time. I'll get a new lip color. Dude, I still didn't even get it even. Ugh. Let me try to fix this real quick. Huh. Nobody's perfect, right? But I'll try, I'll buy these new lipsticks and then I won't have any makeup on. I'll just be at home hanging out with the kids. And then I'll, you know, I'll put on this like really dark purple lipstick or like really bright red. And then people come over and they're like, what's wrong with your, like, why do you have, lipstick on. I'm like, oh, I'm just trying it out. Sorry. And like, it's, it's just funny. I just do that at home, but you can kind of test it out. See what it looks like after you're eating and drinking. You can test how long it wears. All those good things you can do at home by yourself. I got my Arbon protein shake. It's so good. I do the chocolate one with cashew and almond butter and ice and it. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake. I love it. So I'm also gonna do several other um, lipsticks. Oh, they're L. Anastasia, I didn't notice that. So I have these three right here. I have this kind of bright coral. It's called Retro Coral. It's a very pretty one. This one is Trust Issues. And then this one is American Doll. And I don't know if you can still get these. I've had these for a long time, but it's more just about the color of the liquid lipstick, not the actual one. And these Anastasia ones are I think $20, something like that. There's a lot more affordable options. I really like, so like Maybelline something ink. I think the Maybelline ones, they're the square with the white lids. I love those, um, but they're, they're really hard to get off. So I didn't want to use those right now because I couldn't scrub them off to put on a different color. So let's just go ahead and remove this one. So now I'm gonna do the dark one, trust issues, kind of darky, darky, kind of a dark purpley, mauve color. This is the Giordana Retractable Lip Liner in Cabernet. So here is the second look or lip color. So you can see it still looks great with this makeup. Now let's remove this one and do the next. So next I'm gonna do that Electric Coral by Anastasia. Very bright coral of pink, very pretty. And I'm using this Real Her Expert Advice Lip Liner in the shade, I don't know. Don't know the shade. But it says women rule the world, so I don't know what, if that's the shade or not. So here is that color. Not my favorite, but... All right, so now let's take this one off and we're gonna do my favorite, the red. So I'm gonna use the Ofra lip liner in Maya, Maya, for the red. And this is a little bit darker than my liquid lipstick, but I kind of like to do the ombre look. So using a little bit darker is fine. So 
So now that is the red. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you learned some tips that you're gonna try out and let me know how it works for you. But yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh. Ah. Be able to, what? What am I trying to say? Okay. Say hi. Hi.